What is up, you lovely lot? We are back again with another coin hunt. Today we have got some 50p's to hunt through. £250 bag from the post office. Unfortunately, again, bagged bags. Not lucky enough to get sealed bags. So, fingers crossed there's going to be something good in it. We can only hope and we can keep on hunting. What are we looking for? Well, any picture coins are cool to find. But there's five we still need to complete our collection. One of them, of course, being the 2009 Kew Gardens. What a dream it would be just to find one of those. Unreal. Other than that, four Olympics. Olympic football, which is incredibly tough to find as well. The other three, a bit more findable. Olympic rowing, Olympic weightlifting, and Olympic wheelchair rugby or Paralympic wheelchair rugby. Would be awesome to make some progress on the book because it has been a long, long time. We've got all the rest, all the way up until the most recent diversity. And then we've got a couple of pages full of territories and a couple of odd world coins we've found in these hunts as well. Lots and lots of episodes of this series down so far. It's about time we made some progress, it really is. So let's get into it and hopefully today may be our day. If not, we'll keep going next time. <laughs> let's just hope we find a few commemoratives at least. The main thing is, let's just hope this isn't somebody's cashed in hunt. That's the main thing because our luck has not been the best recently. But we keep going. It won't change if we're not hunting. At least we found a commemorative first coin. It is the third most common. Samuel Johnson's Dictionary. 250 year anniversary. 17,649,000 of those minted very high numbers so of course only face value is very very common but at least it's something in the first bag that's all that was in there hope you're all keeping well we will of course go through check for key dates afterwards there's a Brexit from 2020, pretty common as well. We don't know for sure the mintage figure on those just yet, but 10 million allegedly is what it's gonna be. Which of course will make it a very common coin and we do find a lot of them, so. I could believe, I could believe 10 million. There's another 2020 coin, and that's the diversity one. Now this, I do think, are worth keeping. Some people are saying in my comments they're still yet to find one. Um, we've found quite a few, but again, rumblings of two and a half million. If that ends up being correct, then they're definitely worth, they would definitely be worth hanging on to. There's another one. Double diversities already. See how many we can find today. We don't mind finding those in the slightest we will stash them away until we find out for sure exactly how many do exist there's a 2017 it's the tail of peter rabbit second most common commemorative coin 50p and there's a christopher ironside from 2013 another fairly common one seven million minted of those Nothing else in that one. Very exciting to hear the Royal Mint experience is opening back up for tours and strike your own. Strike your own decimal day 50 pence. There's Paddington at St Paul's. Very, very common, the 2019 Paddingtons. Not worth keeping in my book, but obviously we keep a few, but never gonna be worth a huge amount. 2018's, a bit, a bit more worth hanging on to. Almost half the mintage of the 2019's, so definitely more scarce. There's another 2017 Potter, Tom Kitson this time. Not bad, but still fairly common. Oh, it's a very, very eroded 2006 Britannia, wow. 
Been sat in some water somewhere for a few years. Nothing else in that one. Yeah, 29th of May. Raw Mint Experience opening back up. So exciting to get down there. I think, well, I know actually I'm just going to be going down, coming back the same day. I've got no plans to meet anybody or anything down there. There's Benjamin Bunny, 2017. So I'm all booked in for my trip. I think there's a, a few weeks worth of uh, bookings you can place at the minute. There's another Paddington at the Tower of London this time. Another common one. And there's another Brexit. But yeah, I'm booked in. Go down there, strike myself a, a decimal day 50p. Excited for that. And then I'm just going to travel back the same day as well. I'm not booked in a hotel or anything. Interesting to see what it's like there now because it's been closed for a long, long time. I'm sure they've changed a few bits. Well, I would hope so. so. It will be interesting to get down there and see what the whole tour entails at the moment. There's another Benjamin Bunny for us to sign. Still waiting to hear of anyone finding one of ours. Not found anything amazing yet, have we? There's another one of the best we've found today, another diversity. And you will find these at the moment because they're freshly out, but in a couple of years, you're not gonna be able to find them so easily, that's for sure. There's another Johnson's Dictionary. So we will take all the diversities we can get while we can get our hands on them because they won't be so readily available in the future, I don't think. Come on, any Olympics. You just never know with these bags, I think. You can sit here looking through them thinking, oh, these have all been hunted, but you just never know. There's another Paddington at St Paul's. And it only takes one coin to make a hunt, we know that. There's one we would usually consider a keeper, but that one has got some serious water damage. It's been fished out of a wishing well or something like that. Back of the Hastings, we'll pop it down there. But it's not going to be kept, not in that state. I remember we had a whole bag, well, pretty much half the bag, or 60% of the bag was all coins in that sort of state. There was all sorts in there as well. Olympics, triathlon. Oh, this is back at the start of the channel. These are all facing the same way. That's never a good sign, is it? Ross or 2017 there though, yeah, there we go. There's a 2017 shield. That might be the find of the hunt. <laughs> of course, 2017 shield, fairly low mintage at 1.8 million, is it? So, definitely worth keeping. The scarcest or the most scarce circulating shield year. Of course, the NIFC is the ones you really want to be looking for, but much, much less chance of finding those in circulation. We do check all of ours after the hunt, though. Which is quite time-consuming, but it is worth it when it pays off. We've only found one NIFC from a hunt so far. I've found one in change from shops before as well. There's a Paddington at the Tower of London. Again, two of those.
There's another dictionary. Number three. All facing the same way again. Which means somebody probably already looked through them. There's another Benjamin Bunny. Yeah, bags, uh, where you're not finding much worth keeping, it's definitely becoming more frequent. So many people hunting now out there. Which is gonna make the scarce coins even more scarce, I guess. I think my issue, to be honest, and we've said this for a while now, is, is my source because with the post office, it's just getting so many bags which have been cashed in at different branches and then shipped in. I'm gonna get in these bank bags like this, much, much higher chance of getting somebody's cash in where they've already checked through them all. There's one that's not too bad. We don't see it too often these days. And we do keep it if it's in nice condition. That one got a couple of marks on it. 100 years of scouting. Pop it up there. Another grimy shield there. Seems to be a few wishing well or metal detecting finds mixed in with this lot. There's one we usually keep if it's in nice condition, not above face value, not part of the Olympic set. It's Team GB from the 2016 Rio Olympics. Not bad, but considered fairly common really. I do sometimes keep them, it's just a design I like. I think the sporting themed ones always get hyped a little bit. There's quite a nice condition, Christopher Ironside. Two of those. Nothing in that one. There's another diversity. Already getting a little bit grimy that one though, look. It's not awful, is it? But I don't think it's a design that's gonna age very well. We'll keep it for now. So if you can get your hands on them, in near uncirculated condition. There's another pizza from 2017. Then definitely worth holding on to, I think. Come on, we need one absolute beauty to really make the hunt. That's not it. Samuel Johnson's dictionary. Another Tom Kitten. There we go, we don't mind that. Another diversity. That's five today. Recently our, our 50p coin hunts have kind of been how many diversities can we find today? <laughs> oh no. Our luck has to pick up at some point. We keep hunting, we keep striving on to find these last five. There's a Mr. Jeremy Fisher from 2017. And there's a Roger Bannister's Four Minute Mile. 2004, again, a fairly common one. Two more bags to go. Let's 
Brexit. There's another diversity. Six today. Not bad, not bad. And finish us off a dirty dictionary. Rivaling diversity there for the most found today. Five dictionaries. Six diversity wins it though. Probably find of the hunt. It's got to be a 2017 shield, I think. A few diversities to keep as well. We won't keep that Grubby Battle Hastings. Clearly water damaged. Unlucky on that one, so that'll go back. Six diversities and a 2017 shield. Not the worst, not the best. Still striving to try and find something to go in the book. One day, one day. <laughs> Thanks a lot, everyone. Drop us a thumbs up if you'd be so kind. Leave us a comment, of course. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I'll see you soon for some more coiny goodness. Take care.